Lizzie May Collier Sweet have been found. Collier Sweet has been missing since 2007 when the home she shared with her husband went up in flames. And tonight, as investigators find more answers to this murder mystery, her sister is speaking out about it. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Brownstown Township tonight. And Kim, what did police find out today? Well, Carolyn and Stephen, police have found the remains of Lizzie May Collier Sweet. Take a look behind me here. This is the wooded area that actually backs up to where her home was in 2007. Police are still here on the scene gathering evidence, and it was a home that was not a happy one. Lizzie May Collier Sweet and her husband were divorcing, and she was so scared of him that she slept with a hammer. I would say... As I did originally, she's met with foul play, yes. After years of searching for the body of Lizzie May Collier's suite, her remains were found today, buried in a shallow grave in a wooded marshy area behind her home in Brownstown Township and not far from where her skull was found weeks ago. I, I'm, I'm just astonished because I handled the case originally in 2007 and, and we, we did such a monstrous search for her all over the area and to find her basically right in our backyard is just astonishing to me. One day back in January of 2007, the Sweet's home went up in flames. Investigators long suspected Lizzie's husband, Roger Sweet, set the fire to destroy evidence of his wife's murder. But with little evidence, no body, and Roger Sweet denying any wrongdoing, the investigation was going nowhere. But today, it seems all that may change. As we looked further, we actually found some identification indicating it was her and like I said it's just surreal that after six years um, we identify her now by her identification. Her wallet is in her jacket and uh, indicates that it was Collier Sweet. And Lizzie May Collier Sweet's husband, Roger Sweet, is currently serving time for the murder of his first wife. And that is a Farmington Hills case that was actually reopened and only reopened after Lizzie May uh, Sweet went missing. His current wife at the time, but again, they were divorcing when she went missing. And we'll soon find out if Roger Sweet will be facing new murder charges. Reporting live in Brownstown Township, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back All to right, you. All right, Kim, you got to hope the family's going to feel a little bit of closure. Thank you much for that live report. Meantime, 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden just spoke with Lizzie May Collier Sweet's sister. And Cheryl, what is she saying tonight? Well, you know, Carol, and the family of Lizzie May Collier Sweet has waited a long time to find out her fate. And sadly, now, they know. I talked to her sister and niece just a few moments ago. It hurt. I mean, I spent maybe the last hour crying. Um, it hurts. <laughs> it just really hurts. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. A week ago was my birthday. So a week after my birthday to find her, it's just it's weird. I mean, it's just really weird. I mean, how she died, that bothers me, but it's... The good part is that I know what happened now, not as closure. To be as before, you know, you hope on the onside that maybe she's around somewhere. You know, that was always my thought. Maybe she's just around and she's gonna, and um, she's gonna come back. But it's just not the case. Now, her sister Louise told me that it is dreadful when she thinks about how she died, but she says she and her daughter and the rest of the family remember, members will remember how she lived. They say she was a beautiful person. Reporting live, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. Yeah,